I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know, but Wednesday morning, like 3 a.m. is gonna be awful. Rainy, wet, awful. Oh, That's boring, how it's gonna be. What? Last four head votes. <laughs> Last four head votes? I'm gonna vote for myself. Let's see if I can twist some words here. I'm scared of Logan because I think he lied. Someone is definitely lying, questioning like, who should I trust? Um, we think Hayden threw a Hail Mary shot to take out Connor. And I think Hayden might be moving up the target list. And that's my guy. Um, kind of pull Nate onto the other side. I am definitely on the side with Connor, and we're trying to pull Nate over the fence about it. Alrighty, brave competitors. And that is it. You've won your first community challenge. Congratulations, Logan. So I guess it's either the Cohen right now or Hayden. I think me and Connor might trust Hayden more right now, so... Oh, uh, impression? What? Or not. I think it may go as a tie. Yeah, I'm like debating it. A lot more we think we got the Cohen right now. Oh, it's Hayden or the Cohen right now. Who's taking the Cohen right now? I'm nervous. The person going home today is not Hayden. Oh. You're safe. Hayden. Alrighty, how you feeling? Um, I'm pretty. Uh, I was pretty shocked that the comb went out because Hayden was all the plan, and he lost immunity. So we were gonna get him out before he had the chance to win immunity. What are you doing in production camp, bro? Oh. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just wanted to see this hot guy named uh, Andrew. Um, he is um very hot. Uh, he has a uh, you know gave me this awesome experience to come out here and everything. Uh, this is the first time I actually got voted, so it's really worrying. And uh, it was me against the cone, and I'm the first person to beat the cone. But uh, I'm worried that next time. I'm not going to be going against the Cohen. It's going to be another fellow teammate of mine, and um, I don't know if I'm going to win against them. Guys, I have a confession to make. I think she's kind of hot. Nine point? to nothing, bro. What? Now we're telling Logan that we just we tried to tell him, but since Hayden was always there, we couldn't. And hopefully Logan's buying that. And me and Nate, we haven't made up our mind fully on who we'd take and bring. Like, we haven't discussed it, but... Well, to me, I, I think it all comes down to the, you know the challenge. If Logan or Hayden wins, the other one goes, and if if they both lose, then it will come down to what me and Nate want to happen. The boys were trying to signal to me that they were going to go calm, but I just was up and I was at the front of the tribal line. So they were trying to signal to me, vote Cone, and I didn't see that signaling, or I would have voted Cone too. I feel like that was the right vote. I feel like getting the Cone, cone out, we could uh, have more time to discuss who we want out next. I hope uh, it's, I know I've said some alliances in the past of what I wanted, but now that it's pretty changed a lot. Um, I think uh, if it's top three, I think I want Hayden and um, Connor and 
me uh, to top three. I just see if Andrew. You good, y'all? No, too great. Definitely fine with me, Connor, and Nate now. So I'll try to talk to them about it, see what they think. Um, you should just say a fucking. Um... Feeling good. Uh, after uh, I was been paranoid the last few rounds. I won't lie to you with Hayden throwing my name out and stuff, but I think I caused enough confusion and enough everything to where I think I've, I have Nate locked in, I feel like, so that's one. And then Hayden, I feel like with Logan voting for him right there, I think that, you know, Hayden, he's gonna target Logan now. And Logan with, was he was getting on his little high horse. He won a challenge. He's talk about how he, what he's gonna say to the jury. He's getting he's getting a little confident that he's gonna be there. He's kind of picky and he like doesn't eat anything. And he like kind of complains about stuff and whatnot. He like I feel like he doesn't participate in group activities. Like we all went swimming and he like didn't and like he didn't seem like he really wanted to like like he doesn't seem like he wants to be in the wilderness. He just wants a thousand dollars. And so I kind of I wanted to humble him by not leaving him in a boat. That's better than nothing. There's only so many things you can do with that. I felt like we should have went Hayden. So are you a little bit annoyed by that change? Yeah, I mean it was Nate's call that he like convinced Connor to go with the comb, but I don't know why Connor flipped really because literally if Hayden wins immunity, then literally we're screwed not only that hayden's gonna want to get connor out if connor wins immunity or if hayden wins immunity tonight connor's gonna be going home so i don't know why connor would have flipped like hayden was his only enemy and we left him in so we just left the open window of hayden winning immunity and getting one of us out instead because i'm like really annoyed of hayden just trying to get connor out and Connor is my number one out here right now. How would you say it is on a scale from one to ten? Uh, pretty good. Oh, uh, no, I know. <laughs> I really didn't want to get Hayden out because I think he's being truthful to what he says. So I was like kind of tripping out when you said there was like three people who voted for him because I, cause I know LaQuasha probably voted for Connor, I guess. And I was kind of confused. Because I don't want Connor going home or Hayden, to be honest. Sure that I um, stabbed myself with a knife I was carving. Um, on the upcoming vote, it's, it's going to suck since one of us is obviously going to go home. Um, I'm definitely going to choose Andrew. No, I'm kidding. Um, we, we're probably thinking Logan, but... I mean, they, they could have lied to me. But I feel pretty confident in me and Connor's alliance right now, and um, I just hope Logan doesn't persuade persuade him to get me out, because that would suck. I really don't want to get out. We think that Hayden is not the best at challenges. We think that Hayden, even just leading him in, we just still have Hayden now and then tonight we don't think that he's going to win the challenge so we're pretty confident in our abilities to be a Hayden at challenges and we think we've all got separate skills that could beat him in anything so hopefully that works out and Hayden does not win his first immunity tonight because that would really screw us up. All right show your split and still to the camera. Mm -hmm. You're going to be start a fire. Whoever you can light that roll a fire first wins, but you can't directly set the roll on. You have to make a fire off the roll using uh, stuff on that side, except for the caution tape over there, oh, to make it and bring it to the toilet paper. Y'all right. ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Sparks.
with these cheap things. Clinton steel is basically out. Ah, uh, well, we fucking can't. You feel like you should be able to do it? Um, yeah. I feel like I should be able to. Um, but have I? No, I haven't. Um, yeah. Got it first try, basically. Oh. Uh, Malachi, and then, uh, you know what we're doing? We're spending like fucking 30 plus minutes. You pretty annoyed at it? Um, honestly, yeah. But then again, I mean, we are only limited to so much. I'm just kind of like hoping for this one little spot. Yeah, my shit won't open. What? I did. You can try to open it. I mean, if you open it, don't give it back to me, but... That's not even coming out. All I can do is watch right now. So, uh... Don't ever buy these. You'll just waste your money. I don't think it's going to burn. They're using an interesting strategy. Let's make her out. Glasses. I just snapped the log and like thousands of ants were in it. Take anything of yours? Uh, I don't think so. Telling you, it's not gonna stay on fire. The wind's blowing only 20 miles an hour when I get a freaking fire going. Is definitely very much on fire. Yeah, Nate wins. Nate. Oh my god, find me. So thankful that the chance to find me over. Connor, did you even catch fire? 
I burnt myself trying to carry it over here. Uh, it's on Andrew's video thing. Oh, Me and Nate caught fire at the same time. I burnt myself and threw it on the ground. Well, it looks like I don't even have a limb. Nate's already won. Hey, good job. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, that felt good. You know, I was like, we were like an hour in, and I was like, dude, I'm a, think about giving up. And I was like, well, might as well just try again. Logan had his fire getting going, and that kind of encouraged me to that it could that it's actually possible. First of all, so I was like, well, if he can, if he can get his started, why not? Why not try a little bit more? It feels amazing, man. I don't have to worry about getting voted out. Um, you know, I think I hold a little bit more power now. Hello. You need to touch your section. <laughs> Um, I get very distracted easily. Um, I think I'm diagnosed with ADHD, but I uh, haven't checked, but uh, I'm pretty sure I do. Everyone in my family says I act like I do, and some people at school say I do, so I would assume. So my hands would get so tired, and then I, I burned myself and punched the ground, and I got sparks in my hands so many times. I was just really annoyed because I was just sitting there for an hour. Me on the Malachi vote where I voted for myself, the cause mistrust, I think that still lurks around. Hayden wants Logan out, Logan wants Hayden out. And I'm 100% confident those two are going to vote each other and it'll come down to what me and Nate ultimately say. Luckily Nate won though instead of Hayden. Maybe we can still get Nate to vote Hayden. But I think Hayden was really trying to rub up Nate to get him to vote with him. So, I think me and Connor vote Hayden. We gotta get Nate or it'll be a tie on somebody. And oh, that would really suck. The final two scenario, uh, which one would you be choosing to take with you? Nate, definitely. I think it should be Hayden going home tonight because Nate really, I feel like Nate should keep the pact that we've got, but I don't know, he's been getting like closer to Hayden. I'm playing tonight is the um, stay and um, get Logan out. Nate and Connor, they were like, we should vote for Logan. And I was like, all right. They could be lying or telling the truth. So there's really only two options. It's either I go home or I stay, so. I want to believe my friends. Yeah, as of right now, yeah, I think it might be Logan tonight. I feel like Logan ain't telling, being truthful uh, on past instances. All right, anything else? Jesus loves you. Hey, what's happening? I think you should do the confessional. I mean, he's walking yeah, don't back. Don't lead though. him on to the fact that he's spoke tonight. I think Logan because Hayden's a non-threat to win the challenge and me and Nate can win, lock in our final two, and do what we set out here to do. And that's me and him all the way. You give up a lot of things and you gain a lot of things. Are you worried at all in the upcoming vote? Um, I'm not really worried about myself. I think that I'll be able to get my boy Connor to vote with me or I'll vote with Connor unless Connor lies to me, but I don't think so. I think that Connor will stay with me and the whole time they were trying to signal to me what their vote was. And I think that it's still us since it's been, since the first day. All righty, you four. What? Nate, you won the challenge today. How do you feel about that? Feels good. Um, especially after like an hour of making fire, trying to get fire started. I saw Logan get his started, and I was like, maybe there's hope. Logan, how did that feel to be the first one to get the fire actually started, but not being able to light the roll on a on fire? That was pretty wild. I don't even want to talk about it. Hayden, was the traffic cone the right decision last vote in your mind? Yes, it slept with too many dudes, and I wasn't even one of them. It felt kind of uh, like she disgusted me or something. So uh, that's why I just go after men now. All right, Connor, how sad would you be to leave tonight if it was you? 
I mean, I'd be probably pretty sad. Uh, spent a lot of time out here and they get so close. I feel like for anybody, it's going to suck, you know? All right, is everyone ready? Let's go. All right, is everyone ready? Nate, you're safe as you want immunity. Next person's safe tonight. Connor. One of you is going home. Person going home is Logan. Everyone else, I need you to go back to camp. Logan, stay here for the exit interview. I'm sorry. How are you feeling? I feel betrayed. I've been betrayed. I could have taken Connor out earlier, probably, if I really just wanted to turn my back on him. But You've been a good ally in this game, and it's nice to get to know you, I guess. You're not I'm going to vote to Logan. I'm about to go with one of my good friends, you know, I have really recently just met him and um, we've bonded really close together, but in the end, I'm half gonna choose Logan. Alright, All right, don't, don't get my bad pimple, but um, now I'm gonna vote Logan, um, I hope my alliance stays true to who they are, and uh, just kind of uncertain, because, yeah, so, Logan. Hayden. <laughs> Anything about it? Um, I'm trying to stay with the three boys that we had in the very first day. Alrighty. We did it. Top three right now. Attention! Yes, ma'am. Attention! Uh -huh. The storms are brewing. Uh -oh. It might get really, really bad. So, in the event of that, I will have to evacuate you. But we're not doing it until the event of that. So, if you want to take anything with you, I recommend having it together. If you don't want anything to blow away, I suggest you putting it in a tent and strapping that tent down. Uh, that's what I had to tell you. I'm going to sleep now. Probably the fact that I got to the top three. Feeling great. Made it to top three. Got my marshmallow right here. About to roast it over the fire with the boys. Um, you know, it honestly feels really refreshing to know that, uh, the boys have my back. Um, the burning. Um, feeling good. Top three, baby. Just what I wanted. Um, at least I get bronze if I do go out next. I'm pretty confident. I feel like if there's another vote, as long as, uh, Connor and, uh, Hayden don't get together, I think I'm in a very good spot. But yeah, I would, I would say my confidence is probably... Honestly, an eight right now. I hope that don't come back and bite me in the butt saying that. But yeah, I'm I'm excited to see what happens next. Jesus loves you. Yeah, I think mine is the bucket challenge. Like, I'm so proud of that. You know, it's final three. It's crunch time. Uh, I'm already debating on stuff like what like what happens if Hayden wins. I, in the situation Hayden were to win, you know, I might just kind of lay it on the table and be like, Yo, Hayden, I don't think you're gonna win. So now it's like, you gotta have to choose who is going to win. If, it, if it's final two, I want it to be me and Nate. Feels good. I don't even know what I did with mine. I don't know how the jury's thinking, but if they've respected a strategic and lying gameplay, then I think I'm I think I can get to the final. Like I think I feel like the challenge isn't gonna be getting to the final, it's about persuading the people to vote for me. Alrighty guys. I'm gonna, the storm's coming too close. Mm -hmm. It's gonna hit very soon. I'm gonna have to evacuate y'all until the morning. Can so. I suck your penis? 
Well, after we get evacuated. All right, everyone, let's get out of here. We'll be back. All right. You might want to back it up. Oh, I felt great. Look at this. I can. I finally learned how to do this. It's really cool. Um, it took me like an hour and 15 minutes to start a fire, and it went out with like a minute. Yeah. Anyway, what was the question? So I can take your penis now? Honestly, if we go in to the evac station, I might get better sleep because right now I'm sleeping on a rock, so that's not fun. All right, guys, the storm is definitely going to hit us. It's coming too close. I'm going to have to evacuate you for the night, take you to a little cellar, and then we'll come back in the morning. Is it a sex dungeon? <laughs> <laughs> I like the laser guys <laughs> 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 Alright, let's get out of here and we'll be back in the morning. You know, something new, something we haven't had before. You know, I enjoy our trio. I think we got a good plan set in place with what stuff we are and aren't bringing. It's a different way to end this game we've been playing and show we've been doing and area we've been living in. I wouldn't change this final three for the world i debated between hayden and logan for a good period of time me and nate did but at the end of the day we landed on hayden it was very last minute land on hayden and you know i wouldn't change it it's i'm glad i like it a lot okay everyone we made it to the shelter and they're going to sleep now they got everything they want could carry i want to hit his booty final three. Oh my god i love them um, obviously I love myself, otherwise I wouldn't be alive. And then I love my boy Nate and Connor, you know. Okay everyone, it's morning, the storm's gone, you ready to go back? No, I think it's your baby. Ah, well, we gotta go. Dude, the tent's wet. Did anything inside get wet? Not really. It's not even really the tent's wet, it just, I feel like there's water in here like this and that stuff. Maybe it has a small leak, but it feels good. Me and Nate, originally, first night we walked up to the water, and I pointed out all the duos and stuff, and I told them, you know, it's me and you right now, and I feel like we gotta be the duo too. Kind of fervor like a duo. Yeah. Like Ethan Ben are like a duo. Charlie and Hayden are like a duo. So we can be a duo. And it's like, yeah, it's gonna be us at the end. And like, look at it now, we are here. I have a lot of, I'm taking him to the final two if I can win. And I'm, I'm highly confident of like, that they would also take me to the end. You have to start fire? Hey. All the wood's wet. Oh, um, it's gonna be a wet. Leaves are also wet. Hmm. We are gonna be out here for much longer, so I see no point. It's like rainy and wet and I'm like, kind of wanting to go home, not going to lie, but losing right now would suck. Uh, yeah, that would, nah. Especially when you're out here so many days. Just to lose at this point, it would be bad, I guess. Alrighty. Y'all ready? Yeah. I hope y'all know, I really thought about just having top three travel because I'm sad to see anyone go. I'm gonna be honest. But, this is the way it's set up. Y'all know how to count, right? No. You know how to count to a thousand. So. so one second, every second's gonna go by. When you think it's been a thousand seconds. Has it started? No. You will tell me when you think it's been a thousand seconds. I'll count with you for the first 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you think it's been a thousand, you tell me. No, I really didn't want any of you to go. It'd be really sad. Anyone here know how long 100 seconds is in minutes? about a thousand. Whoever wins this one basically chooses who they want to bring with in the final two. 
Like you don't really realize how much time goes, how long it is until you like count. Yeah. A thousand. Two more left. Two more left for all you know. The uh, thousand's already passed. Way before Connor even said anything. guys so a thousand seconds is 16 minutes and 40 seconds the person that got farthest away was Connor was 12 minutes and 47 seconds a thousand. the other loser today is Nate at 20 minutes and four seconds Hayden you win with 17 minutes and 15 seconds in your first individual immunity win and the last immunity win. You're choosing who you take with you to the final. How does it feel to win your first challenge? Good and bad at the same time. You know, I've, I've always wanted to win a challenge here. Counting, I'm not going to lie to you, uh, I've counted plenty of times in my life to a hundred or higher. So, for no particular reason, just because I wanted to see. And um, I know how well a beat is in a minute, which is why I was only 25 seconds off. You know, those two are my boys. Um, I really wanted to win once. Um, didn't think I was gonna make it to the top two. You know, came in here thinking like, I just wanted to be in Andrew's video um, and then I will just be gone within like a day or maybe, maybe two days, but uh, here I am, like one person away from 1,000. Like, I won't say anything like you shouldn't break, break. I can say why 
I used to bring Connor kind of deal. I don't yeah. know. And then you can do the same thing about Nate. You can say why you should bring Nate and not why you shouldn't bring Connor. Like, let's not down each other. Let's just help ourselves. I'm kind of upset, you know. It's like I wanted it to be I me and Nate at the end, but now it can't be. Proud of Hayden for winning the challenge. Like I am genuine. Like I genuinely care for those two. I'm like tearing up, low key. I don't know why I like these two so much. But it didn't work out. Me and Nate, one one short from being a perfect duo. Look how like you instantly get awkward when I pull out the camera. <laughs> I feel like you, you started recording right at the end of that conversation. Yeah, like you, you always record at the end of our conversation. Tuh. conversation. Tuh. You are not Tuh. tiny. We just ran through. How are you feeling? <laughs> Nervous. Um. Yeah. It's either me and Connor going home <laughs> soon, so I guess we'll see. It doesn't feel good being, you know, being a 50-50, so chance of getting voted out. So I don't know. I just hope that. Uh, Hayden has some trust in me, and Hayden selling himself short. I don't know why. I, I think, I think a lot of people might vote for him. I really do. I think there's an equal chance if people vote the way that they're supposed to with this, like the game, camp life and stuff. I think Hayden has a good shot of winning anyway. So, uh, I just hope to get the chance to be with him at the final two to plead my case. But if not, then it is what it is. Anything else you want to say? Jesus loves you. cleaned out this hole right here and there's like an idol right here and he's like I made this and he showed me and it said like this is the sun idol blah 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 it was so goofy bro I'm not gonna say anything against Nate when I'm like selling my point to Hayden I'm only gonna just tell him why he should bring me and not why he shouldn't bring Nate kind of deal and if this is it then I feel like I, I did well Played as hard as I could, as long as I could, and I'm gonna hate counting. Did he tell you it was fake? Yeah, he told me it was fake. He told me he had like a bunch of fake. And it's rumored to be, or he told me there's still one he hid out here. He said he was gonna tell me the location before he left, and he didn't. Um, the perks of bringing Connor is that uh, I don't think many people would like Connor more than Nate. Um, I think Nate's more of a likable guy, and be. And you know, Connor, because of what he did. Um, so, uh, but he's also one of my great friends. I got really close to him these days. Probably because he was mad at you. Be like, because of you, did, because you trusted your. Because I you, trusted that guy. Because you trusted Nate. But I may trusted him. You ruined my game. And you're gonna... The perks of bringing Nate would be, you know, he's my boy. I've had classes with him. Me and him talk a lot. You have like a strong connection. This be my only video with Andrew. Come top three. I'll say that's amazing for me. Can I stand in front of you? So can we go? have an equal shot of winning so whoever you take it's up to you it's really your decision it's whatever's in your heart to say hey I want to go with this person so I'm not gonna say what I've done or whatever because I don't think that's a thing to say really I think just go with your gut I'm not I'm not gonna be mad either way I'm like I'm truly like being honest um, it's a game we made it this far so I, th I would just love to, you know, plead my case next to you, so that's pretty much, pretty much it, you know? I wish, really wish it was all three of us. I'd say it for me, yeah, I mean. Hey, then you ready for Connor to come? Yeah. Is that, is that another beer can? <laughs> I, just feel, I, just feel like, I feel like they found it during the, probably the minute. The 40 minutes they were early. Yeah. That's when they did find it. Because the second people here were me and Charlie, I think. Ben told you. me they found it in a log, but also 
Okay, I'm just gonna start off. Good job. You killed it. So, with this vote, you're obviously looking how are you gonna win, right? Like, what's your best chance at winning? Right now, I think, you know, looking at how the three of us has played, I'd say you've played social, Nate's played social, and I've played like strategic. Like, I've played strategy more so than you two. How I see it is, let's say it's you and Nate in the final two, right? The jury in like, say, let's say Malachi, he wants to vote for someone who played a social friendship game, right? If it's you and Nate, then he could just give his vote to Nate, or he could just give his vote to you. But in, if I'm with you, and Malachi is looking for a social friendship game, you will get every social friendship vote over me. Like every single one, they'll pick you before they me, because I've screwed over just about all but you two. I understand what you mean, especially with that Malachi explanation. Me and him were close, and then when uh, he got out, Nate, Nate fessed up that he was with him, and that like he could honestly choose either of us. Yeah. But because you play strategy-wise, I will probably get more of the social votes. I understand where you're coming from with that, but I just don't really want to send any of y'all home. But uh, in the end, I'm gonna have to force to make a vote. Yeah, and if not, if you choose to send me out, I'm going. Like I'm not guaranteeing my vote or guaranteeing him my vote. Yeah. I, I want you both to, you know, I want you both to make your best case to me of why you should win. I have the things I value in this, and I'm not gonna tell you that ahead of time. <laughs> Cause I don't want you to be able to all, like forcefully play to me. I want to see what y'all do genuinely, but yeah. good job. That's what six days without showering does to you in the woods. Dang, I see you right here. Y'all's hair just looks like how mine always looks. I feel like yours is messy, but it looks washed. Uh, I feel like ours just looks messy. I thought he was dumb when he broke this toast stick, but I feel like I love this stick. It's such a good stick. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, I'm scared I'm gonna lose the, either of them in the final end, because like, I'm not too good at speeches. I'm actually scared of public speaking. <laughs> There's gonna be so many people there. So really, either one that I pick, I'm not gonna win against. So, I mean, I, want, I don't want to stop one of these guys from getting a thousand. Like, I wish all of us would get a thousand. Me personally, I have no idea who you're voting, and I don't want to know. I want it to be a surprise for me too. It is a very hard decision, and a decision I don't want to make. Have you decided yet, though? Uh, I'm leaning more towards one, but it's not a final decision. You know, I would love to win this a thousand. I'd love to show my parents, like, hey. You know, I want a thousand dollars at the thing. Thank you for letting me go. You know, but even if I don't win, I think they're still gonna be like, "Did you have fun? Are you okay?" And uh, you know, I'd love to win, but just the experience of me with the friends is probably my favorite part. Uh, but uh, I'm still thinking about it, but you know, I'll probably have it soon. Who I choose. How does it feel to win today and guarantee your chance at a thousand? It feels great, but also it sucks that I'm gonna send one of my boys home. I love them both equally, and it's like the hardest decision in my life. Even more than you know, if I should keep my kid or give it away. All right, Nate. How worried are you? Um, pretty worried. I mean, coming out here, I was like, man, am I gonna? Get the first night, like I was gonna leave. But, you know, get top three, I say that's pretty good. Um, yeah, pretty nervous, but hey, it is what it is. Um, at the end of the day, I'm still alive. So. Honor, how worried are you? You know, I'd say probably just as worried. I think it's a 50 50 right here. I don't, I really don't know which way it's gonna go. But, like, it's like. I think no matter what, from this, it's like I'm grateful that you 
provided this experience, uh, these two provided. And like even of the other eliminated people, they all gave me a pretty amazing experience that, you know, it's yeah, I'd love a thousand dollars and I'd love at least a chance to argue for the thousand dollars, but at the end of the day it's it is what it is. Like he said, I'm still alive. Final vote. Before the final vote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's only one person I can vote for, and that's my alliance, my my day one alliance. So it's either me and him going home. So I guess Connor. Uh, you know, I made a final two with you, day one. Just thank you for ride or dying with me, Nate. But I have to. The only other option is you, so I'm gonna vote for you, Nate. I already hate you. You don't have to tell me who, but you know who you're voting? Um, you know, thinking about it strategically, I, I think I do know who would have a better chance against going with. Alrighty, you ready to choose? Back, back over there? I am. Alrighty. The first person safe today, because they want immunity, is Hayden. And Hayden, I'd like you to throw the marshmallow to the other person. Me, the host, oh. I have no idea who he's choosing. You don't? Uh, I, I never told him. I just said I know who I'm choosing. Um, I would like to say thank y'all to both of y'all. Y'all have actually led me here. I'd never won a challenge and y'all could have easily voted me off. Y'all have been great friends, you know. Sleeping next to y'all have been amazing. Not anything weird or anything, but like being in your company, you know, I loved every second of it. I'm not a big fan of camping. You know, I've only been camping like once or twice before this and never really liked it. But uh, being here with friends, having an amazing experience being with y'all, it really changed my view on camping. And, you know, I'd love to go camping with everyone, especially y'all too, in the sky. Waluigi, anyway. <laughs> um, you know, I don't like you right now since you're making me choose one of them, especially with the final three, but uh, sorry. Both of y'all have been amazing, and I hate to do this to one of y'all. Um, I'd love to bring both of y'all. Matter of fact, I wish I lost and y'all voted me off, but it just can't happen like that. So, person I'm choosing is... Connor. Take with you. Yeah. Dude, are you crying? Don't it. cry, bro. I'm actually about Yes, sir. To. I love you, too, Hayden. Hey, dude, since you 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 go, hey, since you're me off, you have to pass the ology, bro. You have to. If you do not pass the ology, I'm going to... You trying to do my work for me? Hey, no. <laughs> All right. We good? Yep, Nate. Hey, stay dog here dog. for uh, Come here. Come here, dog. For our exit interview. I love you, Nate. I love y'all, too. You know? third place you know I didn't get second this time you got to put like sad music over it like in Survivor where it's like anyways it sucks losing but you know if I had to lose to someone it'd have to be those two um you know it is what it is uh, I'm not a thousand dollars richer but you know it was a good experience I'm just happy for them and who I guess whoever is the best at trouble is going to be the winner. So, I mean, obviously, but gets my vote, I guess. So, you know, I'm happy to be here. I'm glad I got to do one of our events. Um, the perk is I get to be on YouTube, so that's pretty cool. So, thank you for the experience, and I love y'all. Anything else you want to say? Oh. <clears throat> and of course, Jesus loves you! Alrighty. Apply for the final. Um, you should just say a fucking. Um... How you feeling? Honestly, terrible. Um, you know, Nate. I was closer to him than Connor. Uh, really wanted to be in the finals with him, but if I was, I definitely would have lost. Worse than I would probably lose to Connor. Um, it was a really hard decision. I loved both of them. They're my boys. 
and having to choose one of them was devastating. I chose Nate because, you know, he was just a friendlier guy than me and helped out more than me. So I feel like more people would have definitely chosen him. So I just had a better chance with Connor. And I came here from the beginning saying I just wanted to be here for fun. But now that I'm in the final two, you know, I've changed my mind and I want to win that thousand. So what happened to his hammock? A snake, snake got it. it. I made it. Final two. I didn't expect to be emotional about it, but Nate. It was me and him. I played hard and, you know, I I think I, if they're looking for a strategic player who had elements of challenge, had elements of, you know, socialism, like everything, then I think I could win. But if they don't like the backstabbing and stuff, I think Hayden has it. And I think, you know, it's like, I think I'm going to be able to convey my game well. It just, how how is the jury going to take it? I think that's really what it comes down to here. I got to prove to myself a little bit that I could do it. You know, I pin people against each other using like rogue votes. I play with fake idols. I convinced a whole tribe to let Ben, like let Ben be my ally. And they just like let me. And you know, I, I no one, honestly including myself, thought I could win that bucket challenge, but I outstrength, outsmarted those guys and I did that. And top two. Now it's just time to convey my my game. Yeah, I like to see it. You look so clean, fed, and happy. Put a dramatic walk in. I don't know what to do dramatically. Take all your clothes off. You should be still the hot stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I just hold up. Hold on. I thought the thing broke. This thing? Yeah. No. I thought it did too. Alright. Y'all are gonna do opening speeches and then they'll do questions. Whoever goes first, go first. Uh, well, hello. Hi. It's been a long six days out here for me. Throughout this whole experience, I've competed hard in challenges. I've, I've played one strategic game. Like I, there's probably going to be a few things, a few surprises for y'all to find out throughout this questioning. Uh, and I think I overall, I had social relationships with a lot of people here, like a majority of people here. I held myself well. I think I controlled a lot of the votes, and I think I have earned uh, more than earned this thousand dollars. So I just come in with open ears, hear me out, and let's not be bitter. All right. Um, first, like say um so good to see y'all guys again um you know i really missed y'all every day it's been getting harder and harder seeing one of my friends disappear every day um you know i really wish it could have been like just a normal camping trip where all of us were just there um you know i love you guys uh I'm not really good with public speeches so i'm not gonna do too well but i'm just it sucks that y'all had to leave. Um, I really came in as an underdog my first Andrew video. Didn't think I was gonna do too well. Honestly thought I was gonna get out right after Charlie since I was like, I came with him. and But I just, I just kept on trying hard, you know, keeping myself in and it finally landed me in the final two. Alrighty, floor is y'all, so y'all can, can ask questions as you choose. I have a question for Hayden. Mm -hmm. What was it like playing through that hamstring injury? Um, the very first day, um, just walking hurt, especially walking down a hill or walking anywhere. Um, getting in and out of the tent was probably the worst um, until your tent broke. It broke? Yeah. Who broke the tent? We came back and it was broken. Like fully broken? I mean, the, the no. thing snapped and then it just collapsed in on itself. Oh, Wait. We trust Malachi the most with survival stuff, and he, he said it was broken, so we kind of went with his word. Um, but then it, it, it was a hamstring pull, so it wasn't like a tear like my other one. And so, it, right now it doesn't hurt as much, like, but it's easier to walk and everything. Be nice. 
Can you guys both people questions? Yes. While you're thinking, Logan, Connor, what was the overall, just tell me the overall strategic thing of your game. You kept saying there's multiple surprises, so surprises. All right, well, to start, I don't know how surprised you're going to be to hear this, but I was never with you. I, I orchestrated Edward's vote. I orchestrated your vote. My game coming into this was I had no idea where I seen relationships and whose relationships were what and how, how I can do socially. I surprised myself with that, but I didn't think I could. So immediately out of the gate, I pull Nate to the water and I say, you know, there's duos. There's uh, Ben and Edgeworth, Charlie Hayden. There's, um, what was the other one? Malachi and Ferb. And I said, we should be a duo. He throws out the idea, let's be the only trio. Let's pull in Logan. Let's do this thing. Let's rock it to the end. So we do that. We pull in Logan. And, you know, this consensus is Charlie, right? So. Everybody, everybody, I'm like, I don't know. I think everybody kind of, I don't even know who started it, but it was like a similar wavelength to everybody, just Charlie. So we did Charlie. And getting back though, all day I was, it was running things through my head and I was genuine with Edgeworth on the way back. Like I wanted to be a foursome, us two. Uh, oh, foursome? <laughs> yeah, us, a four person alliance. Us two and me and Nate, I wanted that to be real. And then Ben, you pull me into the woods, you tell me, about Ferb's Idol and that stuff. And this whole time I've been paranoid that the four people that had the hammocks could be an alliance. So in order to ensure that you two, like uh, you and Ferb's group didn't have an alliance, I told Ferb that you're throwing him out there to pin you two against each other and ultimately do that. I didn't want Edward to go so soon. And I seen real strategic threat out of you. I think overall strategy wise I think you would have been my biggest threat and that was, that was smart telling about Ferb the only problem that I have with you is after Connor got voted out I, I I made it very clear to you that I was done I wanted to go home you basically were om like close to almost begging you were asking pretty harsh of me to like keep trying and keep doing and like try to do the whole fake idol thing then you tell them all about the fake idol thing and then you make me look pretty stupid which is fine, it's but it is, it, it, you know, that, that was, I mean, considering someone who's already given up, I was already down, and then you were kicking me while I was already down. I, see, that, was pr that was pretty harsh. That's where I You're see a, dis yeah. a disagree. Yeah. That's where. Yeah. That was yeah. not me, though. That, the fake idol playing it, that was not that me. That was mostly Ferb and Malachi. Yeah. Really With that them. situation, it wasn't me trying to make you look stupid, it was mainly me genuinely from a survivor standpoint like i'd never i really just never wanted to see anybody quit i tell this man every day he's like oh i think i'm next oh i think i'm next but i never wanted i didn't want to see any of us quit at any point at any time and i wanted us to all like try our best to do whatever we could you know <laughs> you didn't quit did you no he's <laughs> got out two hours after coming here so and yeah. like example of that I seen Ferb and Peyton running up in the forest. I thought they were messing Peyton with me. Peyton came here. So I went in the woods and I was prepared to just start yelling at the two. I did not want, like I was probably the most active of let's not kick this guy ways down. I want you to enjoy, I want you to think back on this and think it was a good experience. And that's, that's why, you know, I kept a lot. He whipped but, it, like he whipped it out and started doing helicopters with it. Uh, so like repeatedly I, <laughs> what do you mean day? Yeah. yeah, that's why I repeatedly would tell you to try to do something, whether it was scare them with the idol, or you know, pull in Logan, or do anything. Like I was trying to do everything to like you know make sure I didn't want you to give up. That's really just my bottom line. Why you turn your back on me, man? <laughs> Listen, okay, we're at, it's fine. It's okay. It's final six. This is another one of my surprises I'm pull out. Final six, it's the three in the front row, us two, and Malachi. And it seems like everybody's kind of got the consensus. You want immunity, I think, or you, one of you two want immunity. We're not the big guy, right? And we're like, yeah, it's Malachi's next, because we four had a final four. So at this point, you pull me over and you tell me how Hayden is discussing my name. So going into the final five, I, I don't believe that, it's hard to believe that people are going to go after the cone after one, two, three, four, five people also believe we'd be going after the cone. <laughs>
So what do I do? At the final six vote, I vote for myself. I, need, I needed to, did to make you think he voted for me. I needed him to think you voted for me. And I needed to pin you two against each other any way I could. So I voted for myself. There's a random vote for Connor. How'd that happen? I voted for myself and pinned y'all against each other. Next vote, you were coming after him. He was coming after you. And in a final three situation, these two have the same game. I have a different game. So anybody looking for a strategic game would vote for me. If I brought you to the final three with Nate, then me and you both had strategic games. If I sit up here with you and Ben, let's say these two are voting for strategic. If I'm with these two, I get every strategic vote. I get both of their votes. If you're up here, then maybe Edgeworth might vote for you. Ben might vote for me, and that's one less vote for me. So I came, so I had, the, I pinned y'all against each other, and ultimately I thought you would, in a final three situation, you'd be the bigger threat compared to Hayden. Well, I want to make I this very clear, the main reason your strategic um, game worked, it was pretty smart, but the only reason it worked is because we didn't know the overall amount of votes. If this was regular Survivor, but I would have did. known I... the heart the second after Connor got voted out. At the final six, when we did the Malachi vote, there's only six people voting. I pulled, these three can attest, I pulled all three of them over and I did the math. I, I showed them how Malachi had, like there's mathematically no other way without it being a tie, that Malachi had to have three votes. And then mathematically, the other three people who received votes, which was me, Logan, and the Cone, the other three had to have one vote because if any, if any of Malachi's votes went onto the other people, it would have been a tie. So Malachi had to have three, so it was one, one, one. We had concluded that the cone was at random, and we were pr and Malachi told us on the way out that he voted for the cone, so we trusted that, because he even pulled out his idol. If he was being honest about the idol, he'd be honest about the cone. So we ruled Malachi as the cone. Logan, so it came down to who voted for Logan and who voted for Connor. So who Lo voted Logan had thought that Hayden was voting for me, so I could convince Logan that Hayden was voting for me. Same with Hayden, so they both thought each other had voted for me, oh, yeah. and then we ruled, ruled the cone as having a random vote, voting for Logan. So mathematically, there is a sure way that yeah, we can tell how many votes there are. Six, when you, yeah, when you get down to the final six, but when you get down, when you were up as high as Connor and stuff, like, you know, like, there was no way to mathematically figure out. Like, but I didn't need it then. I need yeah, it, I, know, I need it for I'm that one. That, like, if, like, if there was, like, actual, if Andrew showed the votes, I would have known, then they would have known. You see what I'm trying to say here? In the very beginning of your game would have been completely different and completely yeah, messed up. If it was a regular, I'm, I'm just wanting to let you know a part of your game is dependent on the fact of Andrew changing up. I don't think it's dependent. I disagree with you there. I think it's me optimizing my situation. It's 100% dependent. It's and not it's dependent, Ben. It's me coming out here <laughs> seeing how the numbers are and me playing optimally. <laughs> with how that was. If that were the case, I had planned on sticking with you, I would have switched my vote. I would have not voted Edgeworth, I would have voted with you, and you would have still thought I was with you. Either way, you can be salty about how Andrew <laughs> set up this game, but you can't You can't take not. what Andrew said, like how Andrew set up this game, and pin it on me, because I would have yeah, played it. I know this game back. Pin it on you. I'm just letting you know that a part of your strategic game was a part, was dependent on that part. Of, of that, yeah, well, everyone else here would have figured it out. Ferb would have figured it out. Malachi would have figured it out. Like it would have been, it, and then I would have just talked to more people. And honestly, I, my part of the mistake was trusting you fully, which is fine. It's, it's, it's a game. I'm not, I'm not salty about this, Connor. I'm gonna make that very clear. But you do also need to know inside your own head that you were lucky with the rule change with Andrew. And I want to say, Hayden, I do respect that you voted for the cone. Um, I should have probably done more of that because the cone is a pretty stupid thing. Yeah, when did you start voting for actual people? Was it was I the first normal. actual? Uh, like, no, uh, the first actual person was Connor. Um, I love Connor and everything, but I got pulled to the side by um, Connor. Okay. And he was like, you know, we should like all stick together and then we can make it through to the end. What do you talk about? And I didn't I really want to vote Connor, before. but I knew everyone else was going to, and my vote really didn't matter. And so I just, that's I wanted to show them my trust and voted Connor. Everybody vote yeah. I have a question. Wait, so you, it's not really a question. Uh, so you voted for yourself for the Malachi, right? Yeah. So that, that is a no question. No one lied. This is, no one lied. No, none of you three lied. I told y'all I voted Malachi. He was lying. Yeah, I, I, needed a, I needed a reason to get these two against each other. You know, okay. I just thought that I did like you, right?
Wait, what? I didn't like. Oh, I thought you already told like Connor your plan that you told us. Oh well, Nate. Nate. I know I had you against him, but he had no way against you because I had tried that already. He was like, but he didn't seem faced by it, so I. I had to make a hundred percent sure. Yeah, I got played. I would have thought. Still made it to the end. But you're still here, though. Yeah, I mean, do I think I'm gonna win this? Don't he was up. really smart in this game. I was telling. Hey, Aiden, I'm gonna make this very clear. You are just as equal to win as Connor. You are both here. It's, that's yeah, that's. I'll tell him back at camp. I've been telling Nate too. Like yeah. it's always. Yeah, both have a 50 chance. Yeah. Did anybody? Did anybody break out into a fight? Like did y'all fight each other? Malachi and Ferb. Yeah, that's, oh, that's really awesome. it. So you turned on me because you'd rather have you and Hayden versus having me and you. So what he's saying is basically you're being threatened me. Well, and, uh, it wasn't a final two thing because I, I think at the final four, it was my optimal. I think I would have taken you. I think I said that in the confessional. I wanted you in the final two. But in the final three situation, which I was pretty convinced it was until literally like an hour ago, I'd rather sit next to the combination of Nate and Hayden than a combination of you and Nate or you and Hayden. <laughs> well, it's just he's. Nate, there, he's I'm gonna not lie to you. Nate would have won. Nate, yeah, Nate's a cutie patootie. Yeah, Nate, Nate's the sexiest guy out here. Saying. He yeah, would have pulled. Yeah, I know. I knew, so what? What's the strategic? A plan, what's the strategic point of bringing in Nate? You. Because I'm just telling you from like just like hearing these people out. Nate would have won in the final three. I feel like Nate? Nate's just. Yeah, y'all were smart getting Nate out because he, if he was standing right there, it would have been over. Yeah, he would have. Yeah. Now it's like an actual question between the two of you. If Nate was here, it wouldn't have been a question Nate would have won. Yeah. With Nate, it was... With Nate, re bringing him would have been a loyalty thing. Because out of everybody, I told myself I wasn't going to be loyal to one person. And then my best... like He's probably one of my best friends. Like, I've ever, like he is my, one of my best friends ever. Like, legitimately. So, pulling him in and rocking with him and he was loyal through and through and like I of course I had the thought you know I think Nate's gonna win but it's like the decision it's like for me personally I'm okay with backstabbing everybody but I want to show like I'm truly through and through loyal to at least one person and that was Nate like overall I, I wouldn't have ever cut Nate like I was I like, like these two can tell you I was crying when Nate left like I it, I, you're one of my best friends, man. So why do you think you're here, Hayden, in the final two? Why do you, why do you think you deserve? If you're gonna get the thousand dollars, we've heard of playing from Connor. Why do you think you deserve the thousand dollars? Um, you know, I, I came here thinking, I'm just gonna be here for fun, and whenever the first vote happened, Charlie got out, and when I was with Charlie like most of the time, I thought I was gonna be the next one out. So I try to make relationships socially, friends with everyone, so I can stay here as long as I can. And um, I ended up getting bonds with people. Like, I ended up liking this. Look at yourself, dude. I remember, like, leading up to this, you kept on telling everybody, I'm not going to win, dude. But look at yourself now. You're in the final two. It, it's really surprising to me. I, I finally won a challenge at the very end, which is, and then I voted Nate out, sadly. But I, I knew I wasn't going to win against him, so I had to get him out of here. If I had won the fire challenge, yeah, I would, know. would he have went home? I definitely would have I think home. so. I, I would have been, that would have been what I was going to do. I hope you know, I was kind of praying on your downfall whenever you first landed that fire. I was like, oh no. Because like I said, I was, it was final four fire and you know, I wasn't voting out Nate. So in my brain, it was me or Hayden. I was like, I, I was ride or die with Nate from like, I wasn't, I, not before, like me and Nate, we didn't like make any alliances beforehand, but once I noticed how everything was going, I pulled I, from like two hours in, it was dark and me and Nate were at the water. I just, I said, you know, Nate, it's me and you. And then from that moment on, I never, ever would have turned my back on him. Is there any way I can speak about Ferb and that stuff? Or could, I mean, I mean, I've been, not too disrespectfully, I guess. But I yeah. No, I'm not saying disrespectfully. I just want to talk about some of my experience with Ferb because he was probably one of the bigger people in my game. That first night, you know? I didn't see myself with relationships and I wanted, I seen Ben as my ultimate opponent at that point, so I wanted him gone, like, as soon as I could. So, I stayed up literally all night with Ferb, just talking about life, making connections, and literally, I do think I've bonded so much with Ferb, like, even, I, like, beforehand, just think, like, 
there's a select few people where it's like I it gutted me to vote them out in the end like I hated voting Logan I hated I would have hated these two like Nate and Hayden but I didn't have to make that choice ever and then I hated Ferb like I not hated I hated having to go for Ferb but just I spent all night he taught me how to catch worms he gave me the nickname the worm man and that was one of my highlights you know it's probably one of my favorite memories out here just hanging out walking through these woods with Ferb just talk about life I learned a lot about him learned about his past why he kind of is how he is and I wish he was here today because I wish he could hear it but he will yeah. oh yeah one last question now shut up and I'll leave it for the rest of them um this on this is the time to truly be honest and 100 percent transparent right and even in total survivor mm -hmm. um you said so the reason why connor got voted out was because he was associated with me basically yep. so um was that because of like what wh what made like was it like a personal issue or was it just like a threat issue like honest like just honest and i don't know like what what did i do wrong to get him voted off because that the moment he went gone is the moment i was you pretty much gone. i wouldn't say you did really anything wrong to get edward voted off i think what you did what you did right was kind of scare me. You, you, I feel like you're the person I've seen as the strategic threat, you know? And how am I gonna, if you, you get immunity, how am I gonna weaken the person who I need to get out soonest? Take out his most concrete man, hit my, his mate, you know? Like the one person that he'd never turn on, the one person that would never turn on, like y'all wouldn't turn on each other, you know? So in my brain, the only way I can even a sliver weaken you was by taking out your right hand man. Wait, who won immunity in the final challenge? Why didn't you vote out Connor? Um, because I knew if I went against Nate, I would have lost. Like, just as Ben said, Nate is loved by everyone. And I bet everyone would have gotten Nate's vote. Because me and him did the same thing, socially talked to everyone. And I say Nate is just more like socially with that, socially with him. So it's basically the decision between for us is between Hayden, the very nice guy who made a pretty much a personal relationship with everyone, very deep personal relationship, versus the strategic guy who was pretty Which smart would be and got us all than out. Two social people. Yeah. So it's yeah. Okay. And that was my campaign to him. I just want to throw out. I don't think he realized that until I told him. You know, you and Nate, you're fighting for the same jury votes, while me and him, we aren't. We didn't play the same, so we're not. It's yeah. It's completely different. So yeah. We're gonna be completely different. People. And I would assume for yeah, that's the same. Probably I didn't want to be sitting next to the person who I feel like was so. played close to me, you know. Edgeworth, do you haven't said anything? Would you like to ask any questions? No, I feel like everything's pretty much been answered. But if you guys do win, what do you plan on spending the thousand dollars on? Yeah. Um, I was either thinking about a thousand dollar TV or a PS5. Woo! Yeah. Or or maybe taking my girl out on an even fancier restaurant date. What do you mean? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You can ask Andrew. Bro, you can get the PS5 and the date. You can uh -huh. do it all. Uh-huh. Hey. I, I don't even think I showed you. Right I could show you, though. It's definitely going towards a car. Um, Y'all are my the, my friend group here, you know? Uh, oh, yeah. The people I hang out with all the time, Charlie, Nate, Andrew, I hang with y'all pretty often. Y'all are, pretty, are pretty, pretty annoyed at picking me up all the time, especially with my distance. So, so it's definitely going into the car fund. Is everyone ready? Give them outro speeches and then we'll go vote. Can I go first this time? Oh, outro speeches? Yeah. Oh, um, all right. Um, glad everyone's here, you know. Wish the two brothers could have been here, but they had to go babysit. But uh, I would like to go camping with y'all again or just spend time with y'all. That's my first Andrew video. It's really fun, so I'd like to be in another one, especially with y'all guys. And um, just vote for your what your heart says, who you yeah. want to. Huh? Well, there's no internet out here. Can you bleep this out? Kill yourself. Anyway, um, you know, you know vote for what you want, you know, who you want. Um, How would you feel if you lost this right here? Just go all the way you already had a chance to ask questions. <laughs> Connor, your turn. Are you done with your outro? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. what I was just, it wasn't, yeah. Coming out here, I was afraid of the relationship side of things because I'm pretty not social person in person. Like, I'll talk to random people, but I, I'm not good at making friends. 
but I feel like I came out here, I did the opposite. Like, Ben, I feel like me and you were friends. I don't know how you feel now, but I do, I still would be friends with you. Uh, Logan, we were, I, I thought of you as the irrelevant friend beforehand, the Andrew, me, and Andrew inside joke. But you're yeah. definitely, I said it in my little voting confessional, you're, you've definitely become a lot more to me than the irrelevant friend. I'd be hanging to the Olympics. Yeah, for real. See you there. And then Ferb, I never would have said I care for Ferb, but I genuinely care for Ferb. Malachi, I'm excited for Miss Holsey's class now because now I'll have a friend in there. And then Hayden, I was friends with Nate beforehand, but Hayden, you know, we, we're, I'd say we're friends beforehand, but we, we, we couldn't talk. Like, I, now I can walk up to you go, pickle, 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 and like, we'll just all start dying laughing, you know? And it's just, I've gained so many friends, and I still got to play the strategy game that I have loved since I'm eight years old, since I was eight years old, so. To do all of that, prove myself in the bucket challenge. No, everybody was telling me to drop out for hot dogs, and so no one thought I could win. And I outstrength Hayden, I outstrength Malachi, who everybody had their money on. And I proved it to myself that I could do stuff like that. And I could make friends, and I could get to the end. And win or loss, I'm grateful, honestly. All righty. I just want to say one last thing. It's not anything about anything else, but just like <laughs> congratulations for both of you guys getting here. It is impressive. And, um, you know, a lot of us probably had our minds made up, but now it's probably even way more difficult. So. Good job. Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, okay. uh, so how are we going to do this? Uh, Y'all can sit in the middle of them. Can I think for just a second? You want to think for yeah, a second? Yeah, just a second. Oh, this is actually like really tough. Crazy, I still don't know. Um, give me a second. Everyone get back in this position. Why don't you just on the Do you all want to sit in between everyone? I mean, unless you want to like... Yeah, I'd like to. Get, get, get uh, with everyone. Going. Uh, we're going to sit in between everyone, I guess. All right. I'm just going to say, this has been a very interesting game. This went a lot different than I personally thought it has gone, would have gone. And I've enjoyed every single one of you out here. I think you're good. Each will have a good for the camera moment. And... I just want to thank y'all for all coming and experiences this. And I know Malachi and Ferb couldn't make it, but I don't think it would have changed anything. Yeah, I think it would have been Ferb on me, Malachi on you. I think so too. So the winner today is. Chosen to win, get thousand dollars. Thank y'all so much. Congratulations. Yeah. You ready? I know what increments is gonna be. Oh yeah, that's a whole, that's a whole lot of money. That's how you do it? That's why, that's why we do it. You know? That's what we set out to do. Thank you. That's your a thousand dollars now. It is a thousand dollars. That's a lot. It's a whole nother zero more than what I had before. And it's about two hundred now. I got like one thousand. That's like five times more. Crazy. I'm dead in another strategic one now. So <laughs> see all that. Uh. See, Connor has the better strategic game, but Hayden was really nice. I guess it wasn't a personal issue, but Connor's tricked me multiple times before, so I don't know if I can trust him if, even if his final thing, thing was true. But it's just a game, so I probably want to vote for the person who, like, you know, actually played it better. What do you think, Andrew? You know, I can't tell you anything. I know you can't, but I just want to tell, I just wanted to ask Dude, you anyway. Oh, after this, I'm saying a lot, uh, you know. I gotta respect Connor, though. I really like Hayden. Hayden's super chill. I really want him to win a thousand dollars, but Connor's also spending on a car, which is respectable. So I, my coat's my vote's going to Connor. Cause like I came here, can I talk a little? Yeah, you. Can. I came here with my mind set on voting Hayden because Connor, like Ben, made it sound like Connor betrayed him, but dude, Connor gave a damn good speech. So I mean, I don't know, man. This is hard. So. I think
I think I'm gonna go with Connor. I vote Hayden. Well, actually, wait a minute. Who did I vote? Yeah, I vote Hayden because that's who I chose. All right. If you do know the question, since you're a count, if it's a tie vote, I'm just taking your vote away, right? No, that's so disrespectful. Okay. Nate. All right. So you know, both played a pretty good game, I'd say. Um, I respect Hayden for getting me out. Um, I feel a little bit better. Um, you know, I feel a little bit better about the vote. I mean, the jury and stuff, how they would have voted. But um, I feel like Connor did way much of a better job strategically, especially with that vote on himself and stuff. I thought that was a pretty good game. And I'm being completely honest, y'all should send this video to Survivor because I think Connor would be a really good competitor in that Survivor challenge. So my vote goes to Connor, my number one alliance. I hope you win. Go Connor. So I was I was here the uh, I was here the shortest, obviously. So I didn't get to see much of anything happen. You know, there was Connor who, you know, played a really strong strategic game. He played his cards right, got everybody voted out the way he wanted to. But then there's Hayden, you know. Hayden played played through an injury played through the oh I don't think I'm gonna win but he's in his place now where he can win it all right here and that's why I'm gonna I think Hayden deserves the win I vote for Connor to win the thousand dollars he did a very good job and very good strategy he turned his back on me but it's understandable it wasn't that bad of a play all right anything else nah <laughs> y'all wanna tell each other who you voted off I voted Hayden because I wanted somebody to play PlayStation. I voted Connor. Connor's Connor. strategy was like I pretty good. I went to sleep Connor, and I'm yeah. like, I swear yeah, I'm not we voting were like that guy. That was like the dumbest thing. Yeah, you're. I really just. Connor, Connor they were all up there. We're not voting Connor. Connor's losing. No. Everyone. I Everything. thought. Yeah, I was very confident. I, I heard that there was a group chat and I was like, shoot. And then all night last night, I was just. Really, the main topic of that group chat was talking about how stupid y'all are for voting Malachi off. Because it's survivor wise. He, like, literally, I got in the group chat and they're all like, Have y'all even had fire for a single second? We made fire. All we four had of fire us the did. whole time. All four of us did in the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite player award goes to Malachi, though. I know that's a surprise to some of you, but I ate his food. I really, like, even though it was a bad decision, him not playing his idol and trusting y'all, that was just so sad to me. And, like, he really did trust y'all not to vote him. He pulled out his idol and asked. And then y'all said, no, nah, don't play it. Don't. I told him to use Wait. it. Wait. It's over now. So I mean, I guess some of y'all know, but, like, if you played the idol, who would have got voted out? It would have like, been, been so the Cone, Logan, and Connor, it would have been a three-way pretty much, and then Nate and Malachi would have chose who they voted on. How would you vote for the Cone? That would have been, been crazy. Oh, yeah. That would have been a game changer Hate if you too. played that idol. Oh, yeah, yeah, you too. Yeah, you would have. You would. That would have no, you gotta the vote. Game. Did, did, you know, I was did, sitting there thinking, no, no, I did, did I just vote myself out? Chose. When Malachi pulled out the idol, if I he played that idol, oh, I was shaking. That that was my, I think that was my closest. Did you just spin a wheel for the cone? I asked Snapchat AI who would. That's what I was. And it chose Connor. I actually. Was no, it chose Hayden. Hayden, you had two votes. Yeah, <laughs> I voted for you, Hayden, because I wanted to. Wait, did the cone vote for me the last round? Like the. Well, I mean, I'm still broke. Yeah. No, Ferb never had an idol. Never. Yeah, I thought that he like switched it to Malachi. No, Malachi always had it. It was always Malachi. Just so you just it. like you just hit it around, right? It was, that's crazy. So Malachi just yeah. found it. Me for yeah, Malachi idol, put up his hammock in the out, tree that the idol was in. Which got Edgeworth out, oh, which got you God. out, and then we were scared of Ferb having the idol, so we got Ferb out. That's yeah. crazy. The one person of that four who we didn't take out was the one who actually had it. Yeah, that's crazy. So was there just one real idol and a fake one, or what? There was, oh, all, there was only one, one real idol. Some people made. There was quite a few fakes. Yeah, we kind of burnt it. Yeah, yeah that's fine. We, burn we have a pretty cool video of what we liked about you, and then we threw your thing in the fire. <laughs> oh, it was like in your memory. I mean, it was just like a pretty funny clip. Cinematic. Oh, that's funny. I don't think Ferb said anything good about you. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ferb really did not like me. I, I feel guess. like, yeah. even if I like, if I would have won that first challenge, you wouldn't have won anything. I don't know. I, don't really, <laughs> I really don't know where Charlie's name came from. I feel like everybody was kind of like... We just had to vote somebody. Yeah, it was like we didn't even like. They said it was because they caught you idle searching oh, yeah. quite a few times. No, because I was looking. Oh, Malachi so cool. said he needed pine cones to help make the fire last longer. 
and I was looking for pine cones. I didn't even know they were idols. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, well, everyone Rose, thought Rose you were looking totally for idols. Thought you were idol searching. Yeah, I, I was on you. At He's that gonna point. see the video. That's why you came up. No, you definitely. Yeah. Were I was the looking one that for fucking Charlie, pine cones. Like <laughs> no, I, I brought up to y'all. See, that's, that's just some bad luck people. right there. Really? I don't. That clip's gonna be You brought it up or whatever, and I was like in full agreement because he was looking for idols. I didn't even know there was one. I was looking for pine cones. Yeah. Malachi. Just the fact that I told you about Ferb's idol is what made you want like. It was like, it kind of is what showed me, like, that conversation, it wasn't just that, but it was a few other things you said in the conversation. It uh, was like, that's what kind of, like, awoke me to your abilities. Uh, Malachi was at the fire. In the so, fire. Ben, is it true you said you think Connor was the worst strategic player here? What? No, I thought the strategy of snitching was pretty dumb. But no, now that I heard the whole thing. Connor just said it is. No, I told him about our conversation, because at one point in the woods, you guys told me, well, my fault in the game is your uh, undying loyalty to Nate. Yeah. And but I, because you thought we were on the bottom, so I was like, I didn't shut my mouth. But yeah. I don't know. I just, I just thought the, the, the whole like after I was already like ready to give up or whatever. I didn't know like Malachi or whatever wanted to just make me look stupid or whatever at the end. But I don't know. I had the fake idol in my bag, and they were like, play the idol, play the idol, and it was like fake. Yeah, and everybody was getting on to me for not playing yours. And yeah, I was like, it would have like, been fake anyway. Like, I don't see the point of that. They just wanted to, like, that, I just don't it. think they understood it very well. I think yeah. the worst strategic player here was easily Malachi, but I, I loved him for Strategically. it. Strategically? That first night when Malachi... Because really? he not, didn't play his idol. He, he really thought y'all were just going to go for the cone, and the only reason y'all voted Ferb was because he, like, got naked. And that would have got crazy. I mean, that's... Pro I mean, he, he thought y'all were all, like, super dick. good friends, and then y'all would No, nah, I feel like playing. Ferb was going, but, like... It, did not help that he was after his brother got people. voted out how do you think the strategy was um how good do you think that strategy was where he just like climbed think, in his hammock and laid there yeah i don't know he didn't even try that's yeah. i, I kind of wanted him to but i wanted to see malachi do that i like, wanted to see him try to talk to people but he just slept his he really did not thank y'all for me a lot though yeah but not like strategic right no no strategic okay, talk he said he trusted <laughs> nate the most and then you yeah. So, so like, yeah, Ferb is not like me at all. It's like at the end or whatever. He's just yeah, like, I mean, he's like, pretty I mad think, that you. I don't think anybody's really besides him have really talked to you before, Ben. Yeah. Well, so you just kind of came in. Nobody really. Knows well, Ferb talked to me a good bit. So I knew Ferb pretty well. I don't think Ferb likes you anymore. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. Based on our car ride back to his house, I don't think he likes you anymore. Yeah. Wait, dang, y'all really? Who got the? Uh, up there, y'all really saying y'all hated me? Who got the hundred? Like, I wasn't winning. Were not I got up here. Connor like, also got the hundred. Damn, you made a hundred. You made both. I didn't things. say anything, but it's you got a hundred. Like if I guessed who filmed the most footage, it'd be Connor. How do you calculate it in seconds, or what are you doing? No, you just see how many relevant people footage. Still that's what yeah, doing. relevant footage in the. I got uh, as much as I could. So like, how I got a much gets put in like the clip, and you're like, you got to If y'all have any footage, y'all should send it to me as y'all can. Like I understand if y'all. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm glad we got your footage. It's like good for stuff. I had like twenty six videos. Cone vote for in the finals. Me? Everybody was sad. That yeah, co the cone voted, voted for Hayden in the finals. So the cone did vote randomly. She's, she's making her so, move to you now. Yeah, fuck you. We I actually had the theory that you were just typing the names in and getting Snapchat AI to choose one. No, yeah, someone, I, didn't, I thought it was the wheel of names. Someone said Snapchat though. Yeah, I just, somebody said wheel and I just went with that. I was thinking it was a wheel. And so Snapchat AI voted Charlie? Saying Snapchat AI. And the very first one? What happened? No, I didn't vote the first two rounds, but like oh. it wouldn't did anything anyways. You I just kind of, it kind of annoyed me, so then I had it. Oh yeah, since we're oh, so, so it voted the first round, and then the second, it did not vote the first round. Oh yeah, it voted itself, and then that the second round, I put all the names, and it voted itself, and it annoyed me, so I took its own name off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what, did you type her name? Like, yeah, La Squasha. And in Survivor, could you actually vote your own name? I didn't. No one's ever done. This that. isn't Survivor. That's what I don't think you understand. It's, it's like, like Survivor. a combination of the two. Like right? that's like it's okay. it's more like. Survivor and Total Drama Mesh in the one, which I didn't want to say anything to help influence, but that kind of annoyed me at your tribal thing saying, because like Connor, he adapted to this situation when you didn't. So like, I yeah. feel like, instead of going out on him and be like, Andrew changed the rules, because I mean, well, I mean, so I don't know what the now. other show is, so. I mean, I'm a lot closer. So y'all were planning on voting the other person instead of Connor, and my fucking speech was ass? Huh? That was. Yeah. I think I'm yeah. saying like, we all kind of like, yeah. Basically, <laughs> no matter okay. no matter what you said, nothing would have changed my vote for him. Yeah. Well, we were all like, I was well, like I, almost 100 percent confident. And it doesn't, didn't matter. At the, at the final three, I kind of banked on no matter what happens, I'm not getting charged. I literally, when I was up there, I asked, "Will y'all?"
y'all hear him out, and the only people that said yes they'll hear you out was uh, Nate and Connor. I Nathan. just got up there. Yeah. I didn't even hear none of this. Oh, yeah, yeah, you I was were really mad about it. What did you hear? Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the Easter thing, it was like, kind of pissed me off. I was set on not voting. It kind of made sense to me. I'm thinking about a season two. Maybe Lonnie, Luke, Potter, Zach, Michael. You know? Yeah, different people. Yeah. yeah. Can I do it since I got voted out? Maybe do all stuff. Fuck you, Charlie. So, you want to come help clean up the camp? Let's do it. Yes. Honestly, you probably. Hey, I just want to thank y'all all for watching this. This was It was really fun to make. It was really fun to edit. I may not have always been consistent on it like I wanted to be, but it's all finally out. So leave a comment, leave a like, tell me your favorite moments, and hopefully more events on the way. And I just want to thank y'all if you watched it all the way through the whole series and the whole video. And just, I just want to say I had an awesome time hosting it, and thanks for letting me be your host. I love you guys. I really do. Okay, cut this camera. Jesus loves you, always.